Hello everyone and welcome to part two of this tutorial series in which we are exploring AI prompts in Microsoft Power Platform. In the previous tutorial, we created an AI prompts which can remove special characters but also exclude some special characters. In addition, we learned the basic of prompting. We went ahead and took help of chat GPT to go ahead and fine tune our prompt and then use it as an AI prompt out here, we understood the input fields. In this tutorial, we'll take it further. We will use this particular prompt in Power Apps and Power Automate. But before doing that, I quickly wanted to show you the other options on the screen, such as data used. You can use data within your own data words to go ahead and create meaningful results. In this case, I do not have anything that I can demonstrate. But let's take an example. You can go ahead and look at an approval request and understand how the approval context is and use comments to determine if the comments are actually positive or negative and give it an intense score and much more you can use the data from your data source that is dataverse output the output is out here it is in type text if you need it in type of json you can go ahead and switch this you can click on edit and then you can go ahead and use json fields out here so i can just say i want to return cleaned text right so i can say clean text like this and i can give this this should also be a string so a key value pair at this point if i click on apply and if i click on test my custom prompt you will see that the response will indeed be in a json format and it actually gives me the text and it ignored the and as well so in this particular demo, we can leave it as clean text if we want to. I'll close this, I'm using JSON. Finally, you can use either chat GPT 3.5 or the latest chat GPT 4.0. You also get an option to go ahead and control the temperature. Now, what is a temperature? A temperature is a slider that allows you to select the temperature of the generative AI. So what is temperature? Temperature can vary between zero and one, and it guides the generative AI to be much creative at one and deterministic at zero. So if you want your chat GPT to be innovative, creative, and generate responses, different responses, then you can set it at one. But however, if you want it to be deterministic, you can set it to zero. I prefer the deterministic bit, so I'll set it to zero. At this point, I can save my prompt, and now I can use my prompt in the Power Apps. So let me go ahead and create a blank canvas app to start with. I'll just say AI demo prompt. I'll click on create. What I'm going to do out here is that I'm going to go ahead and insert a text field. In fact, this is a label. I need to insert a text field. So let me go ahead and say text input. I can say this, be it a multi-line. I can copy this. I can paste it in here. So I have two text inputs, right? Remove the text from this. I'll remove the text from this as well. Next, what I want to do is I want to insert a button. So when I click on this button, I entered some text here with special characters. The output should be here without the special characters. And then I want to use the AI prompt that I created. So I can say add data. I can click on AI models and here it is not there. So how can I find it? So I can say, what was the name of my prompt that I created? Custom prompt that removes special characters. When you search it, you will get it. So here it is trying to add that prompt. It has added the prompt out here. Now, most importantly, it tells me a warning or gives me a warning. 
it tells me that the AI generated prompts can have mistakes. Make sure that it's accurate and appropriate before you use it. If you want, you can read the preview terms. So what does this mean? This means that use the AI responsibly. Make sure you go ahead and test it before using it. So that being said, I'm going to say set. I'll set a variable, say clean text. And to this variable, I'm going to set a value. This value will be returned by custom prompt, special characters, right? And to this, I can say predict. And then I can say, I can give it strings. So for string that it needs is what I need to ignore. So I will say ignore the ampersand symbol. What special characters I need to remove? I'll just say remove percentage symbol and maybe an asterisk. And then I need to pass it a string. So I will say text input one dot text, right? This will be the input that I want to go ahead and provide. And then I can finally close the bracket. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the clean text variable out here, dot text. Now, if I play this app and if I type in Clavin, you are doing an awesome job and your demo is good. Let's see what comes out as a clean text. So I clicked on it and it gives me the clean text. If you see, it removed the special characters asterisk and the percentage symbol, but it went ahead and returned me a value in the form of JSON because we set it as JSON. So this is how you use the clean text or you use the AI prompt in Power Apps. Isn't that simple? The next demo that I'm going to do, I'm not going to save this flow. Oh, I'm not going to save this Power Apps, but I'm going to create a flow. So I'll click on flows out here and let's see how we can use it in Power Automate. So here I can say manual trigger and here I can say compose. Okay, this is where I'm going to add my string or even better, let's go and use an input out here. Let's say I want to use a text input and say string. Then I can go ahead and type in GPT, okay? So this is the AI Builder Chat GPT prompt that we are trying to go ahead and use. I can select the prompt out here. Now understand this, this is not free. So you need to have AI credits and a license to go ahead and use this. So I'm going to use the custom prompt that I created and it tells me what I need to ignore. I need to ignore the ampersand. Which special characters I need to get rid of? I can say and and percentage. I need to give it a string. I can use the string out here, which is the output from here. I'll not give it some additional context. Next, I can put in a compose and log the output of this particular action. So I can just say clean text, right? I can then say PA AI prompt demo. So I'll type a string. Clavin is an awesome presenter. and instructor, okay? So what I want to do is I want to add in some special characters, maybe like this. And maybe like this. And then I will run my flow. So here you see that I passed in an input which says Clavin is percentage awesome presenter and an instructor. I said remove these two special characters, that's fine, but it left the and or the ampersand character. So this is how you can use the same in Power Automate. 
Now, before we go ahead, I wanted to show you something about hallucination. So I will say lorem ipsum generator, okay? And what I'm going to do is, I'll say accept, that's fine. Copy this text, okay, copy this text. It gives me ads or bags, that's not what I intended. Although I was searching for bags online. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here. I'm going to try to clear this text up, okay? So understand this, this is Lauren Ipsum text. I'm going to say, and, and I can say somewhere in between, say asterisk, right? This is okay. And I'll try to run my flow. I've not put in an ampersand symbol though. So here, my friends, you see that our AI model actually failed. And why did it actually fail? It said that it had some problems about the content filtering. The prompt was filtered. Now, what does this mean, the prompt was filtered? I'll just ask Google about it, right? Now, if you see, the prompt was filtered it means that it added filtering because it found that there is some risk out here or the content is not as expected. So if you're trying to do something which is low level and if you need that sort of control, you might want to use the AI studio and take and use the content filtering out here. But again, I again repeat, please use the AI responsibility responsibly i would again repeat please use the ai responsibly so the final piece of the puzzle would be copilot so i'll go to the copilot studio out here and i'll show you how you can add this prompt in a copilot or make use of it so for this particular demo i can just do a new copilot i'll give it a name I should give it a description, but I'll just say create as of now because I'm not trying to create a copilot, just trying to show you how to use the prompt in a copilot. So let me go ahead and click on topics. Let me add a topic. I can create it from AI. I'll say topic to remove. special characters from string. Copy this, just put it here. I should be more descriptive, but that's fine for now. So at this point, it created an AI prompt. It will ask me a question and then it will need a message as an output, right? So I can cl clear this up and I can actually go ahead and say, call an action. And here I can say special custom prompts that removes the special characters. I can say ampersand, ignore this one. Uh, go ahead and remove this and this, like the percentage symbol and asterisk. And here I want to go ahead and use the input string. And then I will create a new variable out here. Just give it var. Right? This is fine. Just say var output. This returns me a record. So what I can do is can just I I can I can filter the JSON I can change the JSON into a string, but what I want to do is that I just want to log this. Okay, so I'll click here, and I'll say var, not input. I'll just click on this variable, and I can say var output. Okay, I can go ahead and use a function and actually convert this into from a JSON or pass the JSON, but I'm not going to do that as of now. 
If you need a video on how to use Copilot and parse JSON, leave a, leave a message and I'll, and I'll create it for you. So let me start with something simple. Say remove special characters. I see that there's a typo, but if you see it took up the nice little prompt. I'm going to go ahead and type in something out here. So I'll type in Clavin is boring and funny. I should add and here as well and 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 so let's see so here you see that it is actually taking the special character or something out here so let me see so ASCII is ampersand symbol okay so it didn't remove the ampersand symbol but here you get the gist right you need to be also careful about content and coding at times so here my friends you have successfully used the ai prompt in power apps power automate and copilot in copilot it gave us a bit of funny result that is it actually took this and encoded it right encoded it which is not what we expected but we can take care of that now that being said i would like to go back to my slides and talk a little bit more about the ai prompts so first and foremost we use it in power apps just like a power fx formula we used it in copilot studio we went ahead and used it in power automate uh, what we need to understand is sharing and exporting of ai prompts so to do that, we can simply go out here into my Power Apps. And if I want to go into my AI prompts, I can simply click on share and I can share it with another user. I can share it with maybe my colleague Ben and he can use the prompt. Now, if I want to, if my prompt is really good, and if I want to share it in a different environment, I can use a solution. In fact, it's by default solution is clean text. Now, this is awesome, right? If when you create a prompt, you can first create a solution, and then the prompts will be automatically added into this particular solution, okay? If you set that as a default solution. I'll again repeat, yours might not be the default solution. My was the default solution and it added to the clean text solution. In your case, this would be the default solution. That is the common data verse. So if you want the prompts or anything created into a solution, a pre-configured solution, you can go ahead and click here. You can also click on add a new solution. I can say, Special characters can click on the drop down. I'll say Clavin Fernandez. I can click on create. And here I can actually add my existing prompt to the solution. So I can click on the drop down. And if you see, it's not here. Ah, you I'm trying to add new. So you should go into the existing, click on AI models, and here you will go ahead and try to find here you will find the prompt. You can add the prompt out here and then what you can do is once the prompt is added and you're happy with it you can publish all customizations make it into a managed solution and then go ahead and export it okay and then go ahead and export it and use it in another tenant or in another environment so now that my solution has been published I can go back to the solution, I can select the solution, and then I can export the solution. And then I can use the solution in a different environment. Just need to click on next, next, give my solution a name. I can run the solution exporter, but I'll directly click on export. And then I can download the solution. Okay, something went wrong. I can try again, but because Okay, it didn't download because it's currently exporting the solution, but you get the gist. I can go ahead and export the solution and then use it. Okay, 
So what I can do now, as this is downloaded, now it will export a zip file, which I can import into a different environment. So I'll go back to my slides because I want to talk a little bit more about things to keep in mind. So it consumes AI credits. As I told you, it's not free. It is shareable. It is solution aware. It uses Azure OpenAI model and your data is yours. So your data is not being set out on the internet. So human reviews and automation, prompt injection attack. Make sure that you go ahead and create your prompt and test it. We set in input variables. The input variables can also be misused. You saw how AI prompts actually go ahead and hallucinate. Now, what is hallucination? It means that it determines something offends you, even if it's not offends you. It might give you an answer which might sound real, which might sound true, but it, it just made it up. So be careful with it. And finally, please, please, please go ahead and look at responsible AI. And human review is very, very important, okay? So that being said, thank you. I hope this two-part tutorial series was informative. You have learned something new. Thank you for your time. Have a great day and bye-bye.